Welcome to the instruction video of the Toslon TF740 depth sounder. When we first start using the depth sounder, we first turn on the transmitter, followed by the boat, and lastly, we turn on the Toslon TF740. Turning on the Toslon is done simply by holding down the power button for a few seconds. As soon as the depth sounder is active, you are presented with this screen. As you can see in the initial screen, we see a number of things here. We see depth, we see temperature, we see battery voltage, time, compass, and the number of satellites we are currently receiving. The more satellites we receive, the more accurately the boat's position is determined, and of course, the waypoints you're going to put in. Before we can take off, it is important to set the home position of the boat first, which is done as follows. Press the bottom right button, then the down arrow key to set the home position, and close by pressing enter. At that moment, the home position is set, which makes navigating back to the swim very easy. You can tell the boat to return to the home position by simply pressing the red button. So the moment your boat is a long way out, just press the red button and the boat automatically comes back to the home position. The only thing you have to do is take the boat out of the water again and prepare for dropping your next rig. To return to the menu, just press the power button once and you're back where you started. Setting waypoints is done as follows. As soon as you have found a suitable spot that you would like to store in the unit's memory, simply press the bottom right button twice and you're done. These waypoints are very accurate, by the way. To go back, we press the bottom left button once and we are back in the menu. The Toslon TF740 has space to save up to 500 GPS points. This is more than enough to even save waypoints that you might only visit once every couple years. As soon as you have reached 500 waypoints, just go ahead and delete a few to keep on going. Saved waypoints can be easily found in the menu. By simply pressing the button at the bottom right once, you enter the quick operation menu. Next, press down, click on waypoint, find the right waypoint, press confirm, and your boat will take off straight away to that exact location, giving you the time to, for example, prepare another rod. In this same menu, you can also choose to return to your home position. In order to do that, choose go to home position. You can also do this by simply pressing the red button, so there's more ways to return home. In the menu, you have the ability to switch screens. To do this, press the top section of this button on the bottom right, and you will see that you jump to depth sounder mode with small compass. Then to split screen mode with the depth sounder and map, so you can track the route your boat is taking. And then I'm back to the home screen where you can observe several things. In addition, you can adjust several other things in the menu. These are more the preference settings like sensitivity, noise filter, and so on. If you click on this and continue down, you will see that there is also a little screen next in there. And then you get to brightness and a number of other things. If you wanna to return to the home screen, simply click on the bottom left and you will be back at the home screen. The last tip I want to give you for this depth sounder, which applies to all sorts of depth sounders, is to drive the boat as slowly as possible. This will allow your device to display a much more detailed view. All in all, I think the Toslan TF740 is a very user-friendly depth sounder. Definitely check it out when you have the chance, and in the meantime, tight lines.